Hey guys, it's Fifi. What's going on? I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day. Today is such a good day. We had such a good time in um, Vegas and we are back home. We are safe. Uh, some people are worried, but look, we're, we are like super safe. So, you know, we pleaded the blood of Jesus and that's all we need. Um, and uh, yeah, we had a good time. And when we were out there, I saw this beautiful, now y'all know I'm driving, so I don't need to be driving, and so I'm going to pull to the side. But while we were out there, I saw this beautiful, beautiful uh, waterfall, and if you've been to Vegas before, um, you know, the Bellagio Hotel, I believe, and the waterfall in the front, um, and it just like spoke to me on just so symbolic of God spoke to me during that waterfall on how his children are being blessed like the blessings those double blessings that everybody was like oh 2020 is not a season of um of blessings or oh you know this is not the season for double blessings yes it is 2020 is not over it is not over and the lord kept uh he speaks to me in different ways but he kept showing me uh that this is the double blessings are are still here and they're coming and so you know don't think oh my blessing is i don't see the double blessing first and foremost we are blessed just to be just to be able to even say that i'm a child of the most high god is a blessing um and i just want you to really know that you know god he is with you he will never leave you nor forsake you and um you know just know that it, it, it's a gift like being the lord's child is a gift on its own like that alone that alone is all i need to like i'm i'm not even good i'm his child that right there just like i can't even make this up but it's just it just hits my spirit in a way um that's so beautiful but i'm gonna show y'all this waterfall because when i saw the waterfall the lord said this is my remnant like this is what's about to happen to my remnant so i'm actually gonna post like um, a 30 second video of the waterfall or whatever and this is this waterfall that i'm about to show you is symbolic of what god is about to do in your life You know catch the revelation on it and when you watch it understand that the water shooting up is symbolic of how the lord is rising you how he is rising the remnant and i hope that you understand that god is with you he has never left you i don't care what it look like what it sound like god is going to get the glory out of your story and you know you are sprouting up it's your sprouting season as the world crumbles we rise you know, as as the world is in crisis, we create and we go above. We are we are children of the Most High God. We don't have to beg. We don't have to worry. Uh, Matthew six thirty four says, "Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow has it has its own things to issues." And you know, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but you know, we don't worry as God's children. We don't worry about the tomorrow. We we don't worry about what we're going to eat or drink. You know, God He provides for the birds. He provides for the flowers, food for the birds food and not one day do they ever go and think like where is my blessing going to come from they never feel like that and so God if he loves them basically what God tells us in Matthew um he's just saying that if I love the birds this much and I would do this for them and they're not worried about food why are you worried you know when we worry we are we kind of cancel not kind of we actually cancel our faith and so no more worry we're not going to worry about how it's going to work out you know we're going to have crazy faith and we know that you know faith without works is dead and work without faith is dead and so just keep that in your spirit because at the same time you got to have faith but i know a lot of blood-bought believers that believe in jesus christ and, you know, they can speak in their heavenly language all day, all day passed out, but they're almost just spiritually drunk.
and they're not putting any movement behind what the Lord is telling them to do or what their assignment is. And so, you know, just faith without works is dead and work without faith is dead. I've seen some people work super, super hard and go nowhere. Or it may look like they're somewhere, but spiritually they are dead, you know? And so I, I just, I, I want you to really understand that, you know, God in this season, yo, like the remnant is rising up. You are symbolic of this waterfall. You are going up and and God is going to get the glory in your story and nothing can change that. You are part of the remnant and the remnant is rising. And, and you know, just trust the Lord. Um, I was in Vegas in the bed. Everybody, me, Rose and Ryan, we sleep, right? And God, I'm just talking to God and I'm just asking him and I was getting so many little downloads. Like I love Jesus. I love him so much. Like he was giving me so many little downloads at one time. And I'm thinking like, am I more peaceful out here or, or, or what is it? And you know, when you go on vacation, one big part of why it feels so good is because your mind is free. Of course, you know, because we were just in the room chilling. We didn't even do too much of anything. But, you know, because I don't gamble. We don't gamble. But we just wanted to get away, you know. And so we enjoyed the lights and the action and, and everything. But we were just singing, sitting in the room and the Lord just gave me these downloads. And I'm like, well, what's different? And, you know, you have to, you have to, your mind, you have to keep that settled mind in order to hear the Lord. Like, he talks to us all day and in different ways. Like I told you, you know, he he talks to us in an audible voice. But as I'm out in Vegas, I hear the Lord and he's talking to me through a waterfall. And he just showed me like, this is my remnant. This is what my remnant is about to sprout forth. And I just, it was just so beautiful. I just really hope that uh, the video, this video inspires you just to know, don't worry about the tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. You know, tomorrow will be there. All we could do is focus on the 24 hours that the Lord has given us. And God strictly tells us that his gift to us is life and our gift to him is what we do with it. And so at the end of the day, you know, just focus on his 24 hours. Praise and worship him. Thank him. Thank him. We have it all. You already, you are, you have the prize. We have Jesus Christ. Anything else is in this life is additional. And and just knowing and having him and believing and really understanding that you have Jesus, that automatically comes with certain things. When you really truly believe and know, it's a difference between speaking the word and believing the word. It's a difference between, I know some people who know the Bible back and forth, you know, but they, but their heart's not in it. You know, like they, they got the knowledge, but you know, God is seeking those with a pure, a good heart. Those where his, his word is hitting in their hearts. Because, uh, you know, out of your mouth, whatever you speak out of your mouth and the things you do is what's in your heart. And so at the end of the day, you know, I just really encourage you to just, you know, don't worry about tomorrow. It's the rising of the remnant. Seek the Lord. Mm. God is just good. I, I have so many little downloads. Like God just speaking to me about birds and how like his eagles are rising up. You know, the, the eagles, the ones with that eagle anointing. That's why God has isolated you. When do you see a, an eagle flying with other eagles? You don't. You don't. You don't see them in no clicks. The Lord has strategically placed some people in uh, this isolated time we're already technically in the physical isolated but the lord has spiritually isolated you with him because where you are going in order for him to shine and not you to shine it requires a certain uh, level of time with the lord with no one else there if not you will shine the lord is not going to shine you know because you're not spending time with him and so God just wants you to know that this is the season like the eagle anointing is here. You know, if you if you even examine and look at an eagle, they are one of one. They fly high, you know, they're in a lane all by themselves. They don't need a flock. They don't need 10 birds with them. They don't even need one other bird with them. They, you know, God has these 
you know, these remnant, this, the remnant is like certain people that he has selected and like, you're going up, like you've been in that battlefield. You've been there, like you ready, you know, you got to put, put you through some warfare, some things that went down or whatever, but you needed to get strong for where you're going. And, you know, it is that ego anointing that it is here. And I just, you know, prophesy over you today that you will be strong and you're going to get through whatever test comes your way because you already know it's just a test. Amen. God is good. And, you know, I just hope that this message has encouraged you. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of little downloads, like really a lot of little downloads, but I'm very thankful. Uh to just even have communion with the Lord. Like, I can't believe it that I hear him and he talks to me. It's just a beautiful thing to just even be able to have a communication with him. I mean, you know, I cherish that friendship. And sometimes one thing that I've noticed too, what the Lord was saying is just like with a friendship in the natural, sometimes when you get too close, you the, the, the light of that person begins to dissolve because you get blinded and so as you get closer to the lord you get more of his fruits but don't allow his light to blind you you can you got to keep him for going to the top if you don't you will be exhausting yourself and god will humble you down and so i just you know i hope that this word has blessed you um if it did like comment and subscribe to your girl and i'll see you next time